with those new accusations against Emmy Award winner Jeffrey Tambor as the Hollywood sexual harassment scandal grows. The actor is facing allegations and now says he may not return to his starring role in Amazon's Transparent. And Amy, I know you have that story for us. That's right. Tambor has won, as you know, critical acclaim and two Emmys for his performance as a transgender woman. It was a landmark role on a groundbreaking hit series. But now, that's right, he may not return as two transgender actresses accuse him of misconduct. This morning, the star of the hit Amazon show Transparent saying he can't imagine returning to the set of the award-winning comedy after accusations of sexual misconduct. I'd like to donate my excess skin to research. Tambor's former assistant, Van Barnes, first to accuse the star. According to Deadline, Barnes reportedly posting privately on social media that her former boss repeatedly propositioned her, groped her, and threatened to sue her if she spoke up. Amazon initiating an investigation into her claims. In a statement to ABC News, two-time Emmy Award-winning actor Jeffrey Tambor writing, what has become clear is that this is no longer the job I signed up for four years ago. Given the politicized atmosphere that seems to have afflicted our set, I don't see how I can return. Tambor thanking Barnes in his first Emmy acceptance speech two years ago. I would like to thank my teachers, Jenny Boylan, Van Barnes, Co-star Trace Lissette also accusing Tambor of sexual misconduct. Yes. Yes, queen. Mm -hmm. Posting on Twitter that the star actor made many sexual advances and comments at me, once backing her up against a wall and touching her inappropriately with his body. Lissette calling on Amazon to remove the problem and let the show go on. Tambor in his statement expressing deep regret if any action of mine was ever misinterpreted by anyone as being aggressive, but adding, the idea that I would deliberately harass anyone is simply and utterly untrue. The landscape of the upcoming award season likely to be dramatically different from years past. Winners in both lead actor categories at the 2015 Golden Globes now out of a job. But you will have to pardon me. Pardon me for all of my crimes. Kevin Spacey unceremoniously fired from Netflix's House of Cards after accusations of sexual harassment. The two-time Oscar winner also scrubbed from the upcoming drama All the Money in the World, his character replaced by actor Christopher Plummer. Variety reporting that the unprecedented move to reshoot his scenes could cost producers over $10 million. And Kevin Spacey's spokesperson had previously confirmed to ABC News that the actor is taking the time necessary to seek evaluation and treatment. Meanwhile, Tambor joins a growing list of entertainment figures taken down by accusations of sexual misconduct. In addition to Kevin Spacey, there's Louis C.K., who was pulled for, his movie was pulled from release, FX cutting ties with him. Director Brett Ratner's Hugh Hefner film also put on hold. And then Amazon Studios head Roy Price forced to step down. And many saying it is just the beginning. And the person who's saying that we're going to bring in TV editor for the Hollywood Reporter Marisa Guthrie and your reporting has been spot on from the very beginning and you're saying stay tuned more to come oh yeah more to come household names we're hearing um, it's a big problem and the disclosures are um, so easy now uh, before women accusers could be uh, silenced mm -hmm. in legal framework and if they took a settlement now all of that is out the window because what company wants to appear to be going after somebody yeah, sure. who took a legal settlement the optics exactly. are terrible tell us what the atmosphere is like with these top executives in Hollywood well everybody in Hollywood is paralyzed because nobody knows when the other shoe is going to drop um, with the CK story that the New York Louis CK story that the New York Times did they had obviously reached out to everybody involved um, right before publishing but you never know how bad it's going to be until it's actually out there mm -hmm. and a lot of people around CK were led to believe that it you know th that it wasn't going to be so bad <laughs> and it was mm -hmm. pretty bad so um, and he stepped away I'm told um, voluntarily he didn't dig in like some others are doing like Brett, Brett Ratner is doing and he he just let everybody out um, and issued a non-apology apology. apology. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and this has had a huge financial impact on Hollywood as well. I mean, you've got Louis C.K.'s movie canceled, Kevin Spacey's movie being reshot with right. another actor. How much is all of this costing the studios? Well, it's it's hard to say, quantify exactly how much this is going to cost, but. What is happening now is all of these studios are trying to limit the reputational damage, mm. the brand damage. 
That's why they've all moved very quickly with Kevin Spacey, um, with at Amazon Studios, and now you see Jeffrey Tambor quitting the show, or maybe he was asked to quit. We we don't know. And you say more to come. So and, this is yeah. you know we're going to have other projects put on hold potentially. Potentially, sure, absolutely. But, uh, and you mentioned this in your piece, Amy. Award season's coming up. Award season. And just the whole. Oof. A bummer. Yeah, I mean, Jimmy how, Kimmel at the Oscars has his work cut out for him. Mm, it's going to be gotta yeah. Address it. They yeah, have they have to, to address it. Yeah. And Probably how do you? Some Me Too speeches. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But how do you? I mean, this is supposed to be a night to celebrate Hollywood. How do you? Yeah, how do you do that? That's It'll true. be interesting it to see. It will be, Marisa. I know you'll be covering it again. Thanks so much.